Hello everyone, my name is Matt Nicholas, I'm Manager of Preventing Conservation here at Winter Museum. Now you may have seen lots of uh, really interesting, really glamorous things here at Winter Museum on your tours or in the gallery spaces and even outdoors, but we're going to show you today some interesting little things that you may not ever see uh, on our tour route and you may get a chance to see on some private tours, but let's take a look at some and uh, we'll see what you think. Okay, so one of the uh, smaller things that I came across when I started back about 13 years ago, when I was responsible for where we're at right now, the first floor of our museum, was this little ticket box. Uh, as you can see, there's a little little slot here, a lock, um, and uh, again, when I discovered it, it actually had tickets in it from 1984. Um, and uh, you could just picture the guests come filing in from right through there from Webb Hall, uh, where they waited to come on tour and drop their ticket in here as they went into our collection for the first time. Okay, so you may not know, but we have a fire brigade here at Winterture Museum. Uh, it's comprised of employees and volunteers. And uh, hidden throughout the museum, behind doors that don't look like much, but have period hinges on sometimes and old looking wood, uh, are our uh, fire hoses. Um, they were, could be used in an emergency if need be. They have a little valve on the inside, but it's always neat to stumble across some things like this. Okay, so we find ourselves now in the court, which is comprised of four different facades of four different buildings in the U.S. from different parts of the, of the country. Uh, and one really cool example in here is a facade that it looks like it's stone or brick. Uh, however, it's actually wood that's made to look like that. Um, and much cheaper alternative to do, much lighter, quicker to put up. Um, so let me show you, actually, I can peel away this facade. So historically, you wouldn't just walk up to a building and be able to do that. Uh, it, this was installed to be able to, as a teaching tool to be able to see how it was constructed. So you see grooves uh, that fit into each other and kind of go together almost like Legos uh, to create this facade. And then the, the uh, right back of it is what the wall would look like. Okay, so we're still in the courtroom, and we're towards the north end, and this, I'm standing in front of the Montmorency facade, one of my favorite facades. You can walk up the stairs, the uh, original uh, stone stairs, and you can even open the door. But something's a little unique about this. When I go to open the door, it pivots on a hinge, but the hinge is all the way back here. It opens half of this whole entryway. And we still use this, it, it uh, serves as storage for some of our Yuletide decorations that you may see uh, if you ever come during Yuletide, the court's decorated. Some of our baked snow and things like that. And um, yeah, when I first discovered this, it was a little bit of a shock to pour, pull on a door handle and be told to go behind there and find out I was actually opening the entire wall.